cleaner environment, the cleaner water, the respect for the ocean, respect for the wildlife. Hopefully that could carry on for my grandchildren and my children. It's important to keep it all clean for them and also for our people and the general public. We are on the right path doing the right thing we are doing right now. Right now we are working on 18 derelict vessels. We have eight vessels in Barkley Sound, eight vessels in Nootka Sound, and two in Banfield. They vary in size and condition. Some of the vessels we're working with are smaller pleasure crafts to larger 40-foot fishing vessels that may be completely submerged underwater or onshore, as well as uh, a massive barge. That's what we're working on currently today. The earth just begins to eat it, especially the styrofoam. When it breaks down, it starts to break into small pieces and fish can fuse it for food. And We've cleaned up a few ships that have large barrels of old fuel or oil. As things start to degrade, everything just starts to sink down. It's good for the fishing grounds, it's good for the crabbing. The river is connected to the ocean. The more cleaner the ocean is, the better your chances are of having a better return on the swan and everything that's connected to that. With the Indigenous partnerships we have up and down the West Coast, the one thing we hear time and time again is the history of the coastline, the pristine shorelines that once were out here and, and now we're seeing these major caches of debris. This is affecting the FSC fishing grounds, it's affecting our salmon, it's affecting a multitude of species in the oceanic environment as well as the terrestrial environment in those mudflat zones and in the shorelines butting up against the, the water. And so though we may not be making a drastic difference to the salmon count by pulling out one vessel, what we are doing is starting to chip away at the multitude of debris and toxins on our coastline, trying to work towards the restoration of that once pristine coastal area. We did a boat at uh, Cabarno Island in Yuklulit. We drove by it a couple of weeks ago and the spot where, where the boat sat is now growing sea asparagus. So it seems to be recovering pretty quickly. It makes it meaningful work. This work is really rewarding. When you start to see a vessel go from that full shape it was in when we first got on scene to the last day of a project, you know, that pride that you see on the face of all the crew, it's amazing. It feels really good to help clean up the shoreline. There's so many opportunities to create jobs that help the environment and I look forward to seeing all those opportunities and what we can do to help flip things around.